I'm Native American. I'm African American. I am Puerto Rican and Black. I'm Indian. I'm Jamaican and Haitian. I'm Japanese. I am Black, Chinese, Irish, and Creek Indian. And this, and this is, is my culture. My culture. <laughs> I think there are a lot of stereotypes. Everyone just looked at me like I was some type of human zoo thing. Oh my gosh, who is she? Like, is she some type of witch doctor or something? She's wearing like this dark lipstick. Oh, so do you wear footwear back home? People ask me, how do I wash my hair? And I just look like, come on, <laughs> the same way you wash your hair. I wish the world knew that we do still exist. I wish the world knew that not all Native Americans lived in teepees. We don't still live in teepees. You have something in your hair. And I'm like, what are you talking about? She's like, yeah, someone put like a piece of paper in your afro. People were telling me how much weave and hair extensions and braids and stuff like that was kind of hood or ghetto. Baby hairs were called ghetto or ratchet. I bumped into this blonde haired girl and she had her baby hair. And it was just so cool that everyone's embracing the culture now. Japanese culture is actually so creative. This is why we have so many different original makeup style, including this. When I see people wearing Native American accessories and they don't know the meaning of it, I feel disrespected. We have to understand that it's not an accessory, you know? It's not something that we put on our arms and walk around because it's just beautiful. It is literally us. It doesn't just fall off an eagle and, oh, here, it's yours, I found it. You have to earn it. It shows what a beautiful country and culture you come from. I see it as a, a way to attach myself back to my roots. Being comfortable in your skin and not caring about what other people say. Being Afro-Latina, you have a lot of hair. So when I was growing up, I was always embarrassed of my sideburns, my mustache, my eyebrows. I found it very difficult to be myself because I was comparing myself to others who had straight hair. Straightening my hair and putting all these chemicals in it, so I decided to go natural because I want to be different. I don't want to be like anybody else. Embracing my heritage was embracing all the hair on my body, from the hair on my head to the hair on my toes. I feel more connected to my ethnicity with this feather. And I feel really proud because I represent my home, my culture. And now it's my identity and my culture. I wouldn't change that about myself, and I hope anyone else wouldn't change that about themselves, even if they don't have an afro. Whatever grows out of their scalp, so whatever skin color they are, you know, just be beautiful whoever you are. And I think that's something that all young girls should do, embrace their beauty. <laughs>